Hello and welcome back to the Gran Turismo 7 Master License Challenges. In this video we're going to be focusing on the National A Licenses. For License Challenge number one, our breaking point is at the orange barrier on the right hand side. For the following three corners we're aiming to use as much apex as we possibly can without going over the raised outer edges. When we get to the final sector of the track, stick to the left hand side without touching the wall. The second master license is just a repeat of the first one except in a faster car, but this was one that I really, really struggled with. As you can see by the pictures, I spent a ridiculous amount of time on this challenge and I was still 12 thousandths off earning gold. And same again, our braking point is at the orange barrier on the right hand side. We're aiming to stick to around 90 miles an hour on the exit of the first corner. Again, avoiding the raised outer edges of the apex. If you are struggling with this challenge a lot like I did, don't be afraid to turn your braking zones on, don't be afraid to try different things. This license in particular took a lot of trial and error. For license number three, our breaking point is when we get to the 30R or the 100 meter board. We're both at the same point, so it doesn't matter. It can be really easy to oversteer onto the inside of the track here, so just be mindful. master license number four our breaking point is going to be just before we get to the crest of the hill or this orange right hand turn sign and don't turn in too early and just be mindful before you get on the throttle because you will understeer into the barrier on the left hand side in the tunnel we're braking just as we get to this sign on the left hand side and for the next few corners we're going to be feathering the throttle focusing on getting the car turned in and make sure we're hugging the walls as we're going round on the exit of this right hander we can start to apply full throttle let off slightly and then as we're going round apply full throttle Or Master License 5, this was my first time doing a snow event. For our braking point, I didn't actually start braking until the signs on the right hand side had gone out of my field of view. We're trying to tuck in as close as we can to the wall and then drift round. Then we're aiming for the straightest path possible to the line. For Master License number 6, for the first two corners we're going to be right on the edge of track limits which is the solid white line. We're letting off just as we go under the bridge, waiting for the car to turn in before we go back on the accelerator. Then we're braking just after the 400 meter board. Really important you brake in a straight line with this car otherwise you will lose the back end. And then we're looking for as smooth exit as possible. Master license number seven, when we're taking the first corner, we're right on the edge of track limits, going over the apex, and then we're braking before we get to the sandy part of the track on the left hand side, going over the inside apex, move out to the right hand side, we're not braking here, we're just letting off, feathering the throttle, use as much of the exit curve as you need to. Master license number eight. We're braking just as we start going past the red and white curbing on the right hand side. We're going to turn in early. For these curbs, you can abuse so much of the track limits here, so use as much of the curbing as you can to ensure you have the best exit.
for master license number nine. Just after the 200 metre board, there are these markings in the road. That is our breaking point. On the exit, avoid the curbing on the left hand side because that is particularly wet. And for Super License Challenge number 10. Our breaking point is going to be just after the 100 meter board. I chose to go down into third here, but you can stay in fourth if you want. We're letting off as we get to this corner, there's no need to brake. As we're going around, we're going to start to feather the throttle. Again, letting off, again, feathering the throttle as we're coming up to this left hander. Braking before we get to the red and white curbing, we want to be really narrow for these two corners. And then we're going to run. We're going to run wide, and then we're going to let off for this left-hander. Breaking just as the red and white curbing starts. Now this hairpin will either make or break. Whether you get the gold time or not, you need to focus on being narrow as possible whilst keeping as much speed as you can. Earning bronze in all of these licenses will earn you a six-star roulette card. And earning gold will earn you the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series. And there we have it, gold in all of the National A licenses. Join me in the next video for the International B licenses. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it considering the amount of hours it took me to get all of these licenses gold. On the left is a link to the Gran Turismo 7 license playlist and on the right will be a link to a random Gran Turismo 7 video.